When it comes to modeling and characterization testing, there's nothing more versatile or rugged than a T40 probe card. The T40 is compatible with any four and a half inch compatible probe card holder. It can be designed to either take low leakage measurements or designed with our AdoFast technology for real fast settling times, or we can even design these so that they can take measurements up to 400 or even 600 degrees Celsius. And these cards are rugged. I mean, I ran one of these over in my car and it was fine. I put one of these on a grill last summer and all the probes stay aligned. All these probes are crash resistant. We actually have a customer who had an entire floor of probers crash after they lost power and not a single one of their T40s had to be realigned. They were fine. With the AdoFast probes, even at temperatures as high as 125 degrees Celsius, these can settle down to less than four femtoamps per volt in a second. With a low leakage model of the T40, at 10 seconds, at up to 200 degrees Celsius, this guy's gonna be leaking less than 300 femtoamps per volt. It's a pretty low leakage. It's so low leakage that it's pretty much gonna be an invisible part of your test chain. Now we're gonna show you how easy it is to clean and maintain your T40 probe card. Hi, Brian Root, founder and president of Celadon Systems, in the engineering lab of Celadon Systems again. I've got a T40 in my hand. Lots and lots of you out there have this T40. This poor T40 has been all over the world. But again, I wanna show you how easy it is to clean it with this toothbrush. And again, a lot of you are afraid of using the toothbrush to clean particulate or clean the ceramics so that you get good high performance with the probe card. But again, it's very simple, very easy to use. You just use the toothbrush to clean off the ceramic, clean off the any particulate. You know if you're probing a lot, you're gonna get uh, stuff on the on the probes. You wanna keep it clean. It's not gonna clean off the, the embedded uh, particles on the ends of the probe tips. You're gonna have to scrub those off a different way using either the sanding pads or, or any sort of thing to, to really clean it off. You could also use the, the uh, ITS material to clean off the, the tip. So, but with this, just, just a basic clean to make sure that you're maintaining your cards is very simple. Again, you just use some ethyl alcohol, put a little bit on here, I'm gonna throw a little bit on here. Scrub it. So, clean it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna get air, and I'm gonna blow it off. And we're done. Also, you can do the same thing if you have a T90. If you have button tiles, you can use the same thing to clean your, your probe tips off. Very simple. So the large area probe card, small area probe card, multi-site, no problem. So, it's Brian Root, Celadon Systems, signing off for now. Now we're gonna show you some of the technical aspects of the T40 probe card. So depending whatever your modeling characterization needs are, there's a T40 that's gonna work for you. When it comes to modeling and characterization testing, nothing's going to be more versatile or durable or reliable than a T40 probe card.